Hi, I'm Al Minner, Leesburg City Manager, and welcome to the September edition of our Inside Leesburg Update. Each month, our goal is to connect you with the exciting events and news coming from City Hall here in downtown Leesburg. For the better part of a year, the Leesburg City Commission has been putting together a sound financial plan that seeks to provide quality emergency services, reinvest in Leesburg's amenities, and reduce electric rates. Bringing these goals together has been difficult to say the least, but on September 14th, the City Commission is poised to take the final steps on this management trifecta. As the Commission puts the final touches on the Fiscal Year 16 Capital Improvement Plan, a number of great projects has been considered. In order to finance these and future CIPs, the Commission opted to minimize the financial impacts that fire services have on the general fund by adopting a fire assessment fee. This $58 annual cost for single-family houses will defray the cost of fire service and provide room in the general fund to tackle other items. In considering the fire assessment fee, the Commission initially sought to mitigate the cost of the annual fee with a reduction in electric rates. However, since the fee was adopted at lower levels while still being financially meaningful, the City is now poised to set a fiscal year 16 electric rate which will not only offset the cost of the assessment fee, but may return money to the residents. For that effort, on September 14th, the Commission will consider a new rate ordinance that will reduce the standard 1,000 kilowatt hour bill to somewhere between 121.77 per month and 128.77 per month. In any case, this action shows the Commission's dedication to improving the quality of life for Leesburg residents while also working toward being a top-notch utility provider. As the nation remembers the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on this, the 14th anniversary, AMVETS Post 2006 invites everyone to remember and honor this tragic day in our nation's history. Leesburg Mayor Elise Dennison will lead the ceremony at 2 p.m. POWs and MIAs will also be remembered on this 9-11 tribute. For more information, call 352-383-8750 or email veteransinfoandevents at gmail.com. Whether you're a novice or experienced paddler, on Friday, September the 18th, you're invited to join our naturalists as they canoe and kayak through Helena Run into Lake Denham and Flat Island Preserve. The event starts at 9 a.m. and the cost is free. For more information, call 352-343-3777. Come out and experience the real Florida. A special invitation is being extended to all local girls to participate in the 29th annual Miss Leesburg Scholarship Pageant. The pageant is being held Saturday, September 26, 2015 at Leesburg High School Auditorium. Contestants must live or attend school in Leesburg, Fruitland Park, Lady Lake, or the Villages. Girls ages 4 through 18 are invited to enter. Winners will represent Leesburg at special events, parades, and community activities throughout the year as the hometown representatives. Scholarships will also be awarded to the winners. For more information, please call 352-326-4217. And remember, the entry deadline is September 21st. The Public Works and Recreation Department hopes you've noticed some of the new improvements at Susan Street Park. The city has recently replaced the old dugout roofs, relocated and built new outfield fences, installed sunscreens for the bleachers, and constructed a new park sign. In addition, the fiscal year 16 CIP is seeking funds to construct additional restrooms near the baseball fields. Investing in our parks and children is another way the city seeks to improve our quality of life. Until next month, this is Al Minner inviting you to visit Leesburg, the lakefront city.